What's up, y'all? Willie's Comments back with another haul video. Uh, I got new comic book day books from the past, I think, two or three weeks that I just picked up. I have a folder of my LCS. Uh, one back issue book and an eBay book. And I, I, I wish I would have picked up, picked up uh, a couple more books from my LCS, but I forgot or I just passed them over, but next time I'll go get them. But it's all right, it's more, more books in the future. So first I have Star Wars The High Republic number three. I've been enjoying The High Republic so far. It's not bad. Um, obviously not the best story I've read. I've had, I've read issues that are, you know, like one and two that started off better, but definitely excited to read this. I've been enjoying it for the most part. So it's pretty cool there. Uh, I also ordered the number three variant, like one of the variants for number three, paid a good bid for it. Um, I guess we'll see when, when it comes in. Up next, I have Darth Vader number 10, the ongoing series currently. Very excited about this because he's, uh, he's going to Exegol. I think he arrives in Exegol, on Exegol in this issue, but nothing really happens on Exegol yet. But I think there's a lot of potential for that, so could be really cool. So Darth Vader number 10. <sighs> Darth Vader number 10 again, but this is the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary variant with Luke and Vader on Cloud City. One of the best moments in Star Wars, that's for sure, one of my favorite moments. But that's a cool book right there. And then the back issue book that I got was Star Wars Knight Errant number one. I have a copy of this already, but again, it's a minor key and you know there's potential for it in the future. I don't know if she'll ever become canon, I doubt it, but again, it's just still a first appearance, I believe. I believe, I think. Kara Holt. I, I know there's an issue zero, and I'm not sure if that's her first appearance, but yeah, it's still a decent book to have. And then I have the package, and let me get my knife real quick. Alrighty, let's open this up. I was very excited to order this off eBay. Um, at first, I think it might have been the same bid. Uh, I lost the bid. But it, it's, it's a comic pack, uh, a, a comic book from a comic pack. And I think the person might have assumed that it was the whole comic pack, not just the comic book. So either it was a completely different listing or the guy relisted it. I'm not exactly sure, but I still was very happy to uh, get this. But I'll show it off in a second. It's like styrofoam, bunch of it. Um, and this book will definitely be deserving of a Mylar. So, very excited about this. A lot of protection, you know? And then, grocery bag. Two grocery bags. And then it's still between cardboard. Wow. All right. Let's get it open. Almost there. Ooh, there we go. Alrighty, sweet. Drop some of the cardboard, but that's okay. This is the, uh, looks in pretty decent shape. The, uh, obviously the bag board needs to be replaced, but like I said, it's gonna be in a mylar. But this is Star Wars Visionaries, the comic, the San Diego Comic Con comic pack exclusive. And this was the comic that came in it. There was a graphic novel as well that had a few stories, but they had a comic pack, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that came with this comic, this variant right here. And Darth Maul, the Visionaries version of him where he's got super long horns. And I guess it's Owen Lars, the other figure, but still a very cool book I'm very excited about. Uh, I don't think many people can say that they have this book. Um, obviously since it was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Um, and I paid like just over 20 bucks for it. So I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. So I'm very excited about that. And again, who can't, how can you not get excited about Darth Maul? So very happy about that. And that really is it for today. That, that concludes the haul. So thanks for watching and until next time.